name's Joanna, and um, I think I was always an entrepreneur. My mom tells me stories of when I was a little girl and she'd have parties and I'd have my penny bank there for the people to be able to get into our party. My family would do the art festivals in downtown Glendale and, and Phoenix and, and my grandmother would paint pictures. So I graduated, was going to go in the ministry, but God had a different story and I became a decorative painter. I was a decorative painter with my mother and my grandmother, and then my grandmother passed away and it was just me and my mother. But I did that until pho was the new F word. And then from there, we decided to like do more craft fairs and more shows. And I got a goat because of health issues. And I started making cheese and caramels and giving those to my customers. And they were asking me if they could buy them. And, and then from there, I had to figure out what the compliancy is. So. I stopped making cheese and caramels because that was going to be $60,000. So I then have to go back to my CEO, which is Jesus. And I opened up the Bible and then I felt like I needed to look at my great grandmother's recipe book. And so I opened up her book and guess what? I seen hogwash, goat's milk and sodium hydroxide and lard. Started making soap, giving that away, started just diving in and learning. It just grew. And when you make a good product and you put passion behind it and it becomes your calling, it's only going to succeed. From there, I kicked out my chickens, had a, um, my first 100 square feet, started making soaps, doing fairs, festivals, won blue ribbons. From there, farmers markets. Then from there, private labels, started making soap for other people. and. I am blessed because now I have 55 employees in a 44,000 square foot facility and we do about 10 million bars a year. So God has um, made our brand into something special and he can do that with each and every one of us because each and every one of us are unique and special and all have a calling and it's not entrepreneurship, it's finding your passion. I think there's one thing, pay yourself. I think that that's the most important thing that we need to learn is knowing our own self-worth because if we can't pay ourselves, we can't pay our employees and get employees. So I think that the thing that I learned was to delegate, to hire, to create systems. We all need to have systems of what we need to do. So when a new person comes in, you don't have to go down and train them. They can watch the systems. We're so blessed in technology, use that create those YouTubes that no one can see but you and be able to put an employee in front of there and say, have a great day. You're learning your job. Don't be afraid to scale. I think that the craziest thing is when people don't think that they can be mainstream. When people don't think that their product and what they do deserves to be on the shelf. What I hear a lot is people just assume that you are wealthy and they just assume that you're always going on vacation. I get that a whole lot too. But the craziest thing I ever heard is that a woman can't make men's soap. So <laughs> I got my very first space and I was all excited because I was walking to another soapers space and I was like, what got you into soap? And he's all talking to me and he's like, a woman can't make men's soap. And I'm sorry, I make millions of bars of men's soap. I make soap for everybody. But that was probably the craziest thing I ever heard.